There is, unfortunately, no escaping physics. Bound by the speed of light, even information must take its time to get where it's going. And as we move farther into the void, that time grows until the distance becomes unspeakable. <laughs> okay, uh, Azariah below the sky, mobile engine pilot first class flight ID 26691, call sign Eurydice. This is a non-emergency priority missive for Alexis Lex Archer, mobile engine pilot first class, flight ID 26697, call sign Domenica. Hey Lex, you remember how I said this shit-ass transporter picked up, you know, me instead of the cargo operator? Well, guess who's the new cargo operator as of literally today? Yeah, surprise. The only extra body on the asteroid. Hi. Hello. Tony hired me like 20 minutes ago. Did the intake paperwork and everything. <laughs> I almost tried to argue that I wasn't qualified, but if you think about it, a crane's not that different from a mobile engine, right? I mean, there's a cockpit, you sit in it, you yank a joystick around, it moves a big robot arm, and probably you don't even get shot at while you do it. <laughs> In other words, boring as hell. Slow work, man. It's more of a giant crab claw cabinet than like a sick arcade battle ring smash em up, but hey, beats sitting around on my ass waiting for a supply ship to come through with a new phase coil. Which, speaking of that, <laughs> looks like I'm pretty fucked, man. Ships that come out this far are leaving the system, not heading sunward. So, even if I managed to hitch a ride, I'd still be going the wrong fucking direction. And supply ships are rare out here, according to Benny, because technically we're not on a fixed route. Oh, shit, that reminds me. I'm on Centaur 9866 Gloria, if that might help the Academy transporter techs get a lock on me. I bet you're still on Miami Beta, though, right? Dude, I am so jealous. Tell Stefan Hollins I expect picks, and you legally have to push Keenan Winterfield down at least one water slide for me. So, oh my god, turns out. Benny was listening at the door of the back office the other day, uh, when I called you from Tony's PLDN terminal, and when I came out, he was like, what's on Miami Beta? And then I had to explain how it's like, what if an asteroid was all one big water park with like a terraformed mini ocean with tide machines and everything and UV banks lining the dome so you get a real sunburn and shit? <laughs> Should have seen his face. Like he almost didn't believe me. And then, he tells me, he's literally never been off this station in his life. Born here, lives here, probably gonna die here type shit. Dude's like our age, early 20-something, and he's never seen the inner system. So I told him about growing up on the colony ship and how I never saw anything but deep space till I was like 17 and then he was like oh is that why your last name is so weird and I was like literally yes and uh, uh shit that's my power draw warning gotta go Unspeakable Distance is an actual play podcast of Communication Delay by Audio Quinn. A link to the game's itch.io page and credits for our players are available in the show notes linked to this episode. This podcast has been a production of the Library of Cursed Knowledge Podcast Network. <laughs>